Spring is finally here. With the promise of warm weather, people are ready to start their home improvement project. Joining us today is contractor Anthony Carino, the co-host and star of HGTV's Kitchen Cousins. Welcome, Anthony. Hey, how are you? Thanks for having me. It's great to talk to you. So where do we begin if we want to spruce up our homes this spring? Yes, uh, we've got to start at the beginning, and the beginning is the planning process. You know, it, I, we tell everybody, as long as you're planning your projects, big or small, you're going to be able to execute them so much easier. Um, and it's actually why John and I started our own podcast that, that basically focuses on uh, the planning process called Home with the Cousins. Well, what is a spring home project someone can do themselves that many of us might not think about but will make a big difference? Yeah, absolutely. So I just finished a, a design project for a private client, uh, and we installed a floating floor, actually uh, Tarquette's ProGen floor. It is a, a floating system, so it goes over what is already there, uh, or it can go over a standard subfloor, um, and it's a snap and lock system. So you're literally clicking the boards together. So the only tool you really need to have on hand is a utility knife, which is pretty much as easy as an install can get. Um, and then you combine the fact that it's a waterproof flooring, it's uh, both, both scratch and indentation resistant, and there's over 20 styles of wood looks, you're gonna be able to fit that aesthetic uh, that you're going for. And, and last but not least, there's no acclimation time. So the day you buy that product, you can get it home and get it installed. So that sounds like a huge project. Can the average person really install flooring? It, they really, really can. It is. It, it sounds daunting because rooms are big, but they've made it so easy to install that it goes really fast. And, and I will say, if you're a newbie to DIY or if you're a little unsure of yourself, Tarquette has another line that's here in front of me, the, the uh, Transcend Sure Set line. This line has a pre-applied adhesive to the bottom of it, and that adhesive is releasable, meaning you can pick it up and put it down up to 10 different times. So for the, the DIY newbie, it allows you to really make sure that you, you have enough time to get, your, uh, to get your layout right. You know, the ability to pick that flooring up and then put it back down should give you a lot more peace of mind, so much so that you really can't make a mistake. Combine all the great features of the ProGen line, the waterproof, the scratch resistant, the indentation resistant, um, you know, and, and, and all the different wood look styles. Uh, both of these products you know, really couldn't be easier. This is perfect for the newbie, and if you have a little bit of DIY experience, uh, the, the ProGen is an absolutely fantastic product. I like that they have a, a one for the newbie here. That's right, exactly right, exactly. Um, well, where should we start if you want to spruce up the outside of a home? Yeah, so, the, you know, with the outside of the house, the lawn is the thing that we want to tackle first. It's, it takes up the most square footage. It's been laying dormant uh, all winter. Um, but you can't take care of your lawn if you haven't take care of, taken care of your lawnmower. Um, so prior to, to really getting out there and, and getting into your lawn, you know, you should be getting out to the shed or the garage and, and, and doing, you know, your standard maintenance on your mower, changing the oil, sharpening the blades, uh, making sure the air filter is clean. Um, but more than that, you know, if you're in the market for a new mower, there's so much new technology that's come out over the last five years. Um, I've been highly recommending that people look for a mower that's powered by a Briggs & Stratton engine. Uh, these guys have taken so much R&D over the last five years. Um, some of the cooler features that they've come out with, um, I, I mentioned oil changes already. They have uh, what's called just check and add. You never have to change your oil again. So you're getting rid of the messiest and most time consuming part of maintaining your mower and it goes out the window. You just check the oil and you add a little bit more when it's needed. Um, they also have mow and stow. It allows the mower to fold in half, takes up almost no room for storage. Uh, their, their quiet power technology really allows you to enjoy the outdoors a lot more without having a, a really high decibel level machine uh, running in your yard. And last but not least is their in-start technology, which is, is, uh, is a push-button start uh, mower. So no more pulling on these ropes, no more, you know, struggling and to, to, to mess with the choke and get this motor started. It's one time every time, and, uh, and you're up and running. So I, I definitely recommend a, a powered by, by Briggs & Stratton motor on these things. Well, I, I do like that idea of the mow and stow, taking up less space in the garage. Right. And I cannot wait to get out, you know, and get some flowers in the ground and oh, spruce up the yard. A hundred percent. I was just talking to my landscaper this morning, and uh, we're working on some things for my roof deck, and, and I've got some great, great plans. So I'm excited to head to the nursery and, and pick up some stuff myself. 
Yeah, it's about color for me. Absolutely. Well, Anthony, are there any other spring DIY projects you would recommend for people? Yeah, you know, one of the things I like to tell people, especially in the, in the kitchen, is um, you know, if you're if you're if you're looking to change the look of your kitchen, look to your backsplash. Um, the the nice thing about the backsplash is it's a relatively small amount of square footage. It's a weekend project. Um, and it's something that you can do without disturbing any other element in your kitchen. You're not going to ruin your countertops. You don't have to mess with your cabinets. Um, but you can really change the entire look of your kitchen by changing the tile or adding some slabs, um, uh, you know, in, in the backsplash area. Well, Anthony, you're a busy man. And how are you able to be working craftsman when it seems that you're always on TV? Tell us. What's up with your TV career? Yeah, so, I mean, keeping the, the, uh, the private clients happy is, is all about technology. I, I keep all my plans on my iPad. I'm always on my phone, and, and we're, we're, we're constantly multitasking. Um, we do have some fun stuff coming for TV. I can't tell you yet. I'm so sorry. But uh, in the next couple of months, we will be announcing it on social media. So if you're following me at Carino Anthony on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, we will certainly be making that announcement. It's a really fun project, and we can't wait to share it with everybody. I'm looking forward to hearing more about that later. Well, where can my viewers go for more information? Yeah, so everything we talked about today, it's at tipsontv.com. Uh, they can see the Tarquette stuff. They can see the Powered by Briggs & Stratton stuff, and they can do a deeper dive on anything they need to. Excellent. Anthony, so thank you so much for your time today and My these pleasure. great ideas to help us get ready for the summer. Thank you so much.